people will say, I mean, the conversation around the just the region prior to October 7th is that it's complicated. People say, oh, it's not as black and white as folks mm. try to make it seem as complicated. There's nuance there. Um, but you write that what you saw reminded you of the Jim Crow South. Mm. There are people that would say this is not that. Mm. I would tell them to go. I would tell them to go. I would tell them drive down the roads in the West Bank where you are only allowed uh, to go certain places if you're either Palestinian or you're Israeli settler. I would tell them to go to Hebron and watch how people whose ancestors have lived there for generations can now walk down certain streets. I would ask them to talk to Palestinians about a water system that sees uh, Israelis with access to four times as much water as Palestinians. I would ask them whether they think it's okay for a state to uh, label itself as the only democracy in the Middle East and erect citizenship for one half of, 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 its, of its population and for the other half to erect a kind of citizenship or a residency or a stateless status that is somehow less. I don't know how that corresponds with our definitions of what a democracy is. It was immediately familiar to me as somebody who has been raised on the tales of Jim Crow and whose parents were born in the Jim Crow.